Hey, it's Kelly here with That Hashtag Show, and welcome back to Achievement Unlocked, where I bring you news of what's going on in the gaming world. What I'm going to be talking about today, Switch's left Joy-Con is having trouble, Mass Effect Andromeda is bringing back their loyalty missions, and gameplay has been released for Shadow of War. So stay tuned. Well, it looks like some people are finding out that they are having a connection issue with the left Joy-Con while it's not connected to the screen. One person opened up the Joy-Cons and noticed that the right Joy-Con has a Bluetooth antenna while the left does not, and this could be what's causing the problem. And it sounds like Nintendo's response is simply, we're looking into it, and not much else. I'm wondering if they're not prioritizing this issue in order to boost sales of their Pro Controller as an alternative. So far, I have had no issues, but I am hoping that Nintendo takes action. This sounds like something that a recall could definitely solve. Now let's move on to Mass Effect Andromeda. BioWare presented 30 minutes of new gameplay at PAX East, and some of this included a look at loyalty missions. Loyalty missions were very popular in Mass Effect 2, but were not present in Mass Effect 3. These missions gave each companion their own narrative-focused quest, allowing the player to get more of a backstory, which a lot of people enjoyed. EA and Origin Access members will be able to play an early trial of the game on March 16th. The full game releases on March 21st. Now, let's move on to Shadow of War. On March 8th, Monolith released 16 minutes of gameplay footage for the sequel to Shadow of Mordor. In the gameplay, we got to see a battle over a fortress and taking down an overlord. In the demo, we see that the sequel will have a new enemy to battle, the Olog High. In the first game, what I loved most was their nemesis system, where enemies would get stronger when you lost to them in battle, and when you won, you would be able to turn them into an ally. This time, they've taken it to another level, where you'll be able to build a whole army of allies. My favorite thing about the gameplay footage has to be the fact that you'll be able to ride and command a dragon. Can't wait for this game to come out on August 22nd. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Achievement Unlocked. Once again, I'm Kelly with That Hashtag Show, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things trending and geek pop culture.